All right, to make these dome panels, you're going to first start with one of these drawings of the dome panel I give you. This entire shape will replace one of those triangles that you made your uh, coloring models with. Then later, we're going to take each of these four triangles and divide them up so we have the same amount of triangles you had in each of those panels in your coloring pattern. So the first thing is take a pair of scissors and just cut this out, leaving a little bit of space around the edges. So I take my scissors, cut it out, leaving a little bit of space around each edge. So now take that piece, put it on a piece of file folder material, and tape it down so it doesn't move. So just put a little piece of tape on each of the three sides. Like that. So now it's on that piece of paper. It's on that file folder. And now take a compass, a straight pin, anything that comes to a point, and at every one of these spots where the lines intersect, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them, poke a very small hole at exactly the point where they intersect. So just poke through, so enough so it goes through the paper and through the file folder material. So poke all six of those holes, being as accurate as you can. All right, once you've got that done, go ahead and remove this piece of paper from the file folder material. All right, now I've removed that pattern, and I have, so you can see it, I've circled each of the little, six little holes that the compass point created. So now I'm going to connect all of those to build that pattern back up. So you want to be as accurate as you can here. With these dome panels, every little mistake you make when you start putting them together, they add up and it can be way off. So I'm going to the best way to do this is put your pencil or pen point in one of those little holes you made, slide straight edge up against it, rotate it around so it meets up with the other point. If you want to put your pen in that, make sure that the line's up perfect, then draw in the line. So there's that line, and I want to do that for all of those lines that build this up. All right, now, once you've got all your lines drawn in, you can take your scissors, once again, cut this out, leaving just a little bit around each edge. So now you've got a more sturdy copy of the panel. You could, I suppose, if you wanted, use the original thin paper one, but it's going to get ripped and torn. So this way you, it'll stay better and you can be more accurate. So... Now that you've got that made, you can use it, take more file folder material, put it on here, use your point to mark your six points, draw the panels out, and then cut them out as accurately as possible so that you end up with 20 panels that look like that. So you get your 20 different panels with the four triangles. All right, once you've got 20 of these, you need to make the marks for all the other triangles. We're going to take each of these four triangles and divide them up into four smaller triangles so that by the time you get done, this has as many triangles as you had on each of your color, coloring patterns. So you need to look at the two different lengths here. These three lines in the center are all the same length, and then these three, excuse me, these six segments around the outside that make up this triangle are all the same length. So measure this length, find half of it, and then you can find its midpoint. Same thing with this length. So I've just marked those lengths off on a, another a little scrap of uh, 
file material. So I'm going to take this length for the center, line it up, and just mark that center point. Now this doesn't have to be super accurate, but you want to be as accurate as you can. So we're going to mark all three of those. And then once I get those all done, I'm going to go around the outside edges. And I've got those marked on this other side. I've measured it, divided it by two. So I'm going to go around the outside here and just mark those. So that when I get done, I've got all of the segments marked for their midpoints. Okay, once I've got that done, I'm going to connect all of those using my straight edge. Once again, this doesn't have to be super accurate, but you want to try to be as accurate as possible. So I'll go ahead and draw in all of those lines. All right, once you've got those done for 20, then you've got enough of these to do what you did on your coloring pattern. So each of these is going to replace one of these things you used on your coloring pattern that you are then going to match up with one of the panels you had when you did the coloring pattern. So you've only got uh, one more thing that you have to do, and that is these can't be flat because the domes bend, so they're actually going to be bent a little bit along these three lines that are in the center. So you need to use a straight edge, one of the uh, protractors or the hard plastic straight edges, and bend each of those. So the best way to do that is take a protractor straight edge, line it up with one of these lines, and just very gently bend this up just a little bit. You don't want it to be bent a lot. Just a slight angle like that is all it takes. You don't want it to bend a lot because if you bend it a lot then the whole thing will just want to collapse in on itself. So line those up, bend it up just a little bit. Now I've got the lines on this side so this is where I'm going to color it. So you don't want the, them to be bent this way because that would be the inside curve. So then you can come back and just very gently bend those out a little bit the other way. So each of these corners should be bent so it's just a slight angle like that. That way when you go to tape them together to make the dome, it will want to curve around like the dome curves.